Hey, good morning everyone. It's Mike from Finding Fish. Welcome to Cuba, welcome to Veradero, and welcome to my beach walk. Now I'm staying at the Malaya Los Antilles and been having a great time here. It's September, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I arrived seven days ago, came in in a bit of a rainstorm. The weather's been absolutely phenomenal the entire time. Last night a storm did set in just before dinner time, but then went away. I actually, I think we lost power for a bit because of the severity of the storm. But everyone made through, not one complainer, not one complaint. Cell phones everywhere with their lights on and we just kept going. Woke up early today to this stunning day. And I'm just gonna do a beach walk with you, talk about the resort, talk about Veradero right now and talk about any issues that I've seen since I've been here. Now last year I was in Veradero about the same time so I kind of just want to try to do comparisons because so many people say oh you've got to go to Veradero less shortages than the KOs and I have to say I, I've been to all the regions in Cuba during the summertime here early spring and now I'm in going into the fall season and I haven't noticed any real differences I think it really has to do with the management at the facilities and the business partnerships that they have with distributors here in Cuba I think that's the biggest thing I can say I'm going to try to hit like I've hit a lot of memories properties right now um, at the Malaya properties I want to try to hit some Ibero stars so I want to kind of see the major differences if there is any and I'm not talking resorts I'm not talking pools I'm not talking beaches I'm talking about food quality and I'm talking about consistency I don't read any of the social media pages at all I don't ever judge anything what I do with that ever it's <laughs> I don't know how to describe it anymore there's a lot of great people out there I know writing on it writing facts putting out their facts which is great and then there's a lot of people that are going there that maybe it's their first time to Cuba and they're really searching and they're really searching for having the best holiday I don't know I, if you are the type of person that has to search to have the best holiday I think you're probably setting yourself up for this disappointment right from the get-go I think you should just come down here if you're coming for the first time and just to immerse yourself to see if you actually like the country and like what it offers because just because you're coming here Cuba's not changing for you it is what it is when you come down to this island in the Caribbean and probably for the price you're paying you're probably getting great value for money to walk on this you're not walking on this in Mexico or Dominican Republic or Barbados or Antigua for the price that you're gonna pay to come here you're basically paying in some months the price of a flight and you're getting everything else here for free in my personal opinion shortages this week down in Veradero I think we missed eggs for a couple of days bacon has been pretty much lackluster haven't seen much of it haven't seen butter but those are things that for me it doesn't really affect me I haven't seen any nuts down here we've had avocado I think every day the cheese selection is not my favorite we barely had a cheese selection compared to the last bunch of resorts I've been to like in Holguin fantastic food selection there at that memories property I haven't been drinking this month so alcohol hasn't really affected me but I believe there's been lots of white wine there's been red wine and lots of cerveza here. I heard one guy over talking about there was no tequila here. Now, just to let you know where I am, behind me, Las America and the International, probably five kilometers down the way. Just up in front of me, I, can, I think I can see the Royalton coming up. So I'm in between those two. The water here is fantastic. Nice and shallow, beautiful out. The water's probably about 85 degrees right now and life is good here now I did go into Veradero quickly I made a video about that about how much things cost Veradero was quiet and it was hot 
if you're gonna go into Veradero, it's gonna be hot down there right now, folks. That's all I can say. The bugs. There hasn't been too many days here that I've been bothered by the mosquitoes. The planes did go over twice. I'd rather bring, bring my own bug spray than to see those planes, to be honest with you, but that's just my personal opinion. So the bugs, like I always say, after a rainstorm, you better bring bug spray because they might get bad. For September, Veradero's busy. It's a lot busier than I thought it would be and it's a lot busier this year than it was last year. The plane from Toronto is completely full. And last year when I flew down here, it wasn't that full in September. So I think people are still traveling. I think there are more travelers now than there was last year. Cuba went through some really darker times last fall, especially in Cayo Coco when I was there with water issues, food issues, power issues. They struggled with everything. I haven't seen that much here. Like I said, we had power issue because of a massive storm, but it did come back on. I've had water the entire time. I'm on the fifth floor. I've had lots of water pressure and lots of hot water. Lots of water, bottled water in my room. I haven't really been deprived of absolutely anything here. Great cappuccino, great coffee. So if you are contemplating coming down here in September, the reason I come down in September A is I'm usually going to get a fantastic deal, especially when the kids go back into school. So for me, it's great value for money. I get to go to resorts that maybe are probably going to be a lot more expensive in the mid to high season. So I get to come and check resorts out at a fraction of the price and see if it's really good for me, like to kind of pick all the resorts that I like for later on in the future for when my wife and I come back when she's on holidays. The food, the food's not that bad. It's, that's the top talk of Cuba. It's about the food. I've tried to make all the videos telling people that should not be your number one choice when you're getting on a plane to come to this country. If it is, you're probably coming to the wrong country. Obviously, you're not coming to Cuba for that culinary experience at a $700 for a week price. You should know that. I think the food, for the price that I pay, I can find quality at any buffet at any resort that I go to. But that's just me. One thing about Veradero is I've run into people from Portugal, Germany, Spain, Costa Rica. This place is not a destination for Canadians, but people from all over the world, it's on their bucket list because they're coming to check the beach out. They're coming to check out the people. They're coming to check out the towns like Trinidad, Havana, other destinations like that. They want to go for an experience. They want to see a time capsule. They want to ride in an old car. So when you're coming here, it's not just about resorts and about the all-inclusive experience. For some it is. For some people, it's about getting off the resorts. It's about going into towns. It's about finding somewhere to eat that's authentic and to having that authentic experience. And it can happen here. And it happens every day for lots of people. Other people want to come here and they want to go out on the catamaran tour. They want to go diving. They want to go get on the hop on, hop off bus and go into places. We're all different in life when we come to Caribbean places, when we come to resorts. We all have different expectations. I believe it is the Royalton. Oh, I haven't been here in years. Now, if you are coming here and you're coming in September, October, always check the National Hurricane Center. You want to make sure that there's no great big hurricanes circling around the island. I think when I booked this, I just missed three major storms and Cuba was just lucky and we lucked out so I got that going for me anyway I'm gonna continue on I'm probably gonna see how far I can go I'm just gonna enjoy my day hey if you're coming down here you're coming to Rear Darrell, you're probably gonna have a fantastic time regardless of what happens with the food the weather the beach is never changing that sky's never changing the watercolor is never gonna change just change your mindset and you're gonna have a great time when you get down here Hey, if you like my channel, like and subscribe, and guess what? See you in the next video.